Hey lovelies, Lisa here and it is day eight in my tower month. And today, you know, I've been really carrying this image in my heart. Uh, this is the tarot card I brought forward yesterday in my video yesterday about the tower and letting go um, from the incredible Pagan Otherworlds deck. And um, Fru Luna, uh, a YouTuber, her comment on this, um, on both the tower card that I showed, the this, and then my video it was just so beautiful. I have to, um, I have to share it aloud and just give her, give her props. Um, she wrote, "Yes, the woman, in, almost in slow motion, surrendering, maybe unwillingly, but so slowly that there might." be time for her to see how little damage was really done to her tower and her foundation. Maybe even before she hits the ground, she will smile and think, oh, this was interesting. Everything looks so small from here. What should be the next strategy on my journey? Seven of Swords. I was also talking about the Seven of Swords yesterday. I will never give up my project in making heaven and earth come together in my wretched life. Wands, tower, sevens. Uh, Fru Luna was commenting on my my attachment to the wands and the way that the sevens have been um, alive for me and the seven of swords particularly or the seven of spades because I've been working with playing cards but I love that I love this idea you know she's falling so slowly right she may actually have time in her free fall in her fall of freedom to notice you know it's not so bad it's not so bad to fall, is it? Uh, not a whole lot of damage has been done here. Just enough to knock me from my everyday perch. So uh, today I was, I was actually um, running a, a day-long um, mindfulness retreat for my current um, group of, of students. And um, the day was really, I mean, there's something about a day of practice um, you know, of entering, dipping into that silence, which does feel a little bit like a, like that free fall. Um, there was this moment where I was, we were doing walking meditation outside, and it's a beautiful day, like in the low 70s, sun streaming, and uh, the building we were in had these um, bamboo shades that were kind of shielding the windows from the sun, and the dowel at the bottom of the shade was rubbing against the deck the the flooring of the deck of the building just screech screech just really slowly and this strong sense i had you know of being outside of human time which can feel so as i hear the cars in the background can feel so staccato and um, frenzied, you know, this, we're always driven, driven forward in time by our projects. Um, and yes, by our strategies, by our efforts to do, 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 um, by our wandsiness, where we have an image in our head, and then we're trying to realize it. And so time has a kind of, it's, you know, it's like the, uh, the eight of wands, right? It's that kind of, um, uh, you know, the hurtling forward in time and space um, of, of the will of our of our of our intention and um, I'm just looking for the eight of wands here um, you know that kind of hurtling that javelin throw that project projectile going forward and um, yeah and the sound of that bamboo um, you know scritch scratching across the the wooden um decking it just reminded me of uh, of a really different kind of time <laughs> you know the time of the wind of 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 nature um things are slower you know things are slower except of course when they're not when they're like lightning fast right like you know what strikes the tower and Again, I've been thinking about what it is to come down from the, t from the sky, from the top, what it is to fall, um, and what it is to rise. And I just had this, this thought, you know, partly because the, 
playing card deck I've been working with lately. Now this is this is available in stores right now. Um, bicycle. Oh, I I hear I hear a puppy dog on her way to interrupt this video. Hopefully not. Okay. Um, bicycle Elements Series Fire. Um, partly because I've been working with this deck. You know, it just strikes me. I mean, here's the thing about fire. And if you think about the elemental symbol of fire, the, the triangle pointing up, which is a little bit like a spade. Um, triangle pointing up. You know, fire rises, right? I mean, this is light that rises up. It's it the, the heat goes up. The thing about lightning is it comes down, right? Uh, the thing about um, in the, the classic Marseille image, or even in the Waite Smith imagery, you know, fire comes down, you know? And um, what if that fire that's coming down, um, I'm just looking here for the Waite Smith image. What if that fire coming down isn't just the fire that destroys the tower, uh, isn't just the fire that knocks us from our perch on high. What if that fire coming down, you see the, the fire, the droplets of fire that are coming down, right? But what if the fire coming down isn't just this fire liberated from the heavens, isn't just the creative spark that comes from the divine above, but what if that's us? Right? You know, the red of his cloak is like a flame. Um, I love the depiction in um, Patrick Valenza's Triomphe de la Luna, which I just got my bag for, the, the Paradoxical Rose version, so now I can play with it. <laughs> Some of you already know this about me. Until I get the bag for a deck, I can't play with it. Um, you know, the the green demon here, he's he's on fire, right? What if the fire falling down isn't just the fire that destroys our perch, but is us, beings of light that we are? Uh, there was a moment today where um, we were doing uh, some mindful stretching, uh, some yoga, and it was such a beautiful day. Normally, you know, we do that in the meditation hall, we roll out our yoga mats, um, but I just invited everyone outside because I mean, yoga outside, no duh. Um, and it was kind of a self-guided yoga. So I was inviting people to just to tune in to their, the wants and the yearnings of their own bodies, hearts and minds, and to sort of move into the practice and kind of feedback, listen and respond to what their bodies were, were yearning for in terms of the stretching. And what I ended up, I was doing a, a bunch of like just stre stretching at my hips and my hamstrings and reaching up and out and sort of working with my shoulders. And at one point I just like plopped myself down on the ground, uh, face down. <laughs> I took, I turned my head though. Um, and I'm lying there, you know, on my tummy, face down, pressed up against the earth. And it was moist and warm and the grass was a little bit, um, sharp, you know, the way grass can, grass blades can be a little sharp, but not too much, just a little scratchy and smelled so good. So what if we're the kind of fire that falls to the moist earth and instead of being extinguished by that moisture, what if that's how our hearts get rooted and our emotions blossom? What if we are both fire and, and seed um, falling to the earth and rising up uh, like the green grass rising from the dirt? I don't know. Today, the tower felt very much about um, the joining of earth and fire. Um, you know, those two triangles that come together, um, that harmony of the six-pointed triangle, you know, the, the tower uh, is 16, right? Harmony of heaven and earth. Okay. I think that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for your practice.
take good care.